Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. Hi guys, today I'm going to be actually using a utensil that I got from Amazon and I believe I paid $9.00 and some change or maybe ten dollars and some change for this ruler now i haven't really practiced with it i have tried it on multiple different diamond paintings that it doesn't seem to line up so i'm gonna work as best as i can I'm gonna work as best as I can to see how this ruler works and if I like it. Um, as you guys know, this is a repaired canvas that I actually repaired with dot stick. And so I'm gonna try my best to line it up as best I can. I'm just trying to think because if I use this end, then when I go to move it, I'm going to have to turn it. So maybe it needed to be on this end. It's really hard. It's really hard to figure out which way you want it and which way lines up best, etc, etc. But, you know, that actually looks pretty good. Um, so... There is, oops, there is, it actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and start dotting these. And honestly, like, this side's a mess anyway. And like, this whole diamond painting has been kind of a nightmare for me. So I'm just going to go with it. Um, I am curious if you guys have tried out this ruler, what your thoughts are. It really seems like there's a learning curve to it. Like, you kind of gotta figure out the best way to put them on, or put it on. Um, I mean, I was playing with it off camera a little bit, lining it up, taking it off. Etc. And it, you know, there's kind of a lot, a lot of times that I had to move it. So I'm just hoping that I can get everything done. My other camera is actually not not charging, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this because I'm running out of time to video. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and video on one and then add this video as part of my time lapse as well. So I hope you guys are having a good week. I know it just started. Um so alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and start placing them down. And like I said, this is my first time using this um, and actually placing the diamonds down. So, um, I just, you know, I am a perfectionist. Well, I try not to be too perfectionist. Like I expect certain things to happen, but, um, you know, I just, I want it to be as as uniform as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and try this ruler out see how I like it see if I do like it um, so my husband is trying to occupy my five-year-old in the bathtub right now and my three-year-old decided that baths are dreadful today, so he decided that he's going to stay out here 
with me. So I apologize in advance now that, you know, if he's talking over me, um, I don't want to, I don't want to have to shush him too much because we have been encouraging him to talk, uh, and, you know, all of those things. So sometimes I wonder if he's pretending like he has his own channel as well. <laughs> Um, my five-year-old definitely does. He'll be like, um, video, like videoing on a phone that he has and he'll be like, hi guys, a tray here. It's so cute. I'll find like video clips all the time on his phone. Why not? So absolutely cute. Uh, I think you gotta push a little hard, but like I think I just broke this one. Let me go ahead and pull that one out. If I can get it out of there. The ruler's kind of sharp too. I feel like so I feel like you could like slice someone up with it, but um, so I feel like you gotta listen for the click. So you don't want to, you want to make sure when you push in, when you push on it, you're pushing from the mid, from like the top middle, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe not. I feel like none of these clips, and like I said before, I feel these gems are, um, are different sizes like i feel like they're they're not the right size like some are bigger than others like all of those ones clicked it just worries me that if it doesn't click that it might not be in there all the way so when i go to lift it up it's not going to be in its right position we'll figure it out I don't know. I just, I really wanted to try it out though because I want, I wanted to be able to make my gems uniform fit together, especially these ones because as you guys know, I have been dreading working on it because it's not lining up well because like I said, I think the gems are different sizes. So I, when I saw the ruler and it's been out for a little while, but I decided I wanted to try it on my channel. So I decided to pick one up from Amazon and just see how, how it'll go. I might return it <laughs> if it doesn't work because I'm not about about spending money that I don't that that on things that don't work even though I have yet to I have yet to contact Scotch when I because I spent a ton of money not a ton but I spent money on their magnets so I I don't like wasting money as most people probably don't but I really don't like wasting money so I am hopefully going to figure it out, but we'll see. We shall see. Because, you know, even if I can get the, like, first several rows to be, like, all these lined up, then that might be okay, too. Um, so you guys might also hear my five-year-old in the bathroom pretend playing in the bathtub. He gets really high-pitched voice when he pretend plays, um, since he's in the bath, he is, I don't know what he's pretending to play, probably submarine or something, who knows, 
but um, he likes to talk at a really high pitch and he does not know inside voice like his whisper is like the loudest whisper ever so he's like I can't have it it's so crazy loud so I constantly like use your inside voice but he just doesn't get it he's really loud pitched and I We went to my sister's yesterday and celebrated my niece's birthday, which is going to be the 11th, but uh, my husband was going to be on orders on that weekend, so we decided, they decided to celebrate it early for her, so, which was nice, um, but... My nephew and I have a strained relationship, um, and so he does not like me that much, um, and, you know, he has whatever reasons he thinks he has, um, but, um, he decided, because my sister smeared frosting all over, all over my husband's face with my net, with my son's hand. So, um, so. My sister tried to smear my kids, my other kids, Atreus' hand on my face, but I wouldn't let her. I was grabbing her hands. So my nephew decided that he was going to come up behind me and smear frosting on my face. Which was fine. I wasn't mad about it. I just said, you know what? You're, I'm going to pay you back for it. So I got up. And I ran around the island once. And I was like, forget this. So I picked up a cupcake. And, I, and as I picked it up, my brother-in-law already knew what I was going to do. So he's like, don't be throwing that. <laughs> So, I was like, um, it's the only way I'm going to get him, because I'm not going to stand here and run around the freaking island the whole day. So, I aimed and I hit him right in the cheek. And he's like, he told you not to throw it. And I said, so what? I threw it. What are you going to do about it? He's like... He told you not to throw... Like, because my, my nephew's kind of, like, bossy. He thinks he's a boss because it's... Because, it, it, you know, it's their house. He starts yelling at me about how I'm not allowed to throw things in the house. And my mind you, my brother-in-law said nothing to me about it. Um, but... My nephew decided that he was going to call me a bitch and that really made me mad. <laughs> like, I'm like, really? You're going to call me a bitch because you smeared frosting on my face and I got you back. Really? Uh, so, um... Part of my sister and I, my part of our um, strained um, when we, when we lived together was that my nephew and I were not getting along because my 
my kid's room was next to his bedroom and he likes to play video games at night he's supposed to be off his computer at a certain time because he was um at the time he was 17 so and i understand that maybe he doesn't want to get off and i don't want to be like oh he's not getting off at the time you tell him he's supposed to get off i don't want to be that kind of aunt or whatever so but he is like really loud when he plays video games so he will be talking or he'll be yelling or he'll be jumping and screaming and you know like getting mad and cussing kind of a thing even though he's not allowed to cuss like his mom does not allow him to cuss now that he's 18 you know like there's not much she can do except for you know tell him to watch his mouth but she did you know make him apologize for calling me a bitch but to me he already he already you know proves that he doesn't like me so even him apologizing is like not really an apology so you know it is what it is here the the thing is my sister and i fight you know we're sisters so we argue we fight um she she thinks i'm stuck up bitch um i mean we get we get along but she she and i argue um it's it's the way we were brought up my mom my mom is like the queen of arguments <laughs> so you couldn't get around my mom without arguing uh, at some point in time um, same goes for pretty much all of my family so like we would have family get-togethers and it would always end up in an argument or fist fight or you know I don't know maybe <laughs> do you guys have that kind of family where um, you get a little bit of alcohol and you know whatever I don't even know um, when we argue um, she can be pretty critical of things of me and and such so it makes it it makes it hard to strain and then so so while we were living there my sister was like I can't take it anymore because you're texting me because I would text her instead of saying something to him because I didn't want a confrontation so I would be like hey Sean's being a little loud, you know, it's the kids nap time, you know, it's, it's daylight out. So she's like, you can't expect him to be quiet. It's daylight out. And I'm like, but my kids need to take a nap. And so what am I supposed to do? Not give him a nap because your son wants to play video games during the day. Like that doesn't hardly seem fair. My kids need the nap. And you know, he would be like, your kids cry all the time. And you know all these all these things and i'm like well you know if they got naps that were not interrupted or whatnot then maybe they wouldn't be so um you know grumpy and crying um so it anyway it you know it was hard because you have young children and a, and a 17 year old basically sharing a wall and so it was almost like they were sharing a room because everything he did and said and whatever came, he, he was like right up against their wall. So it was hard. And so he would be like, your kids are brats. And, you know, he said he would say things about my kids and it would really make me mad, too. And so my sister would tell me the things that he would say and then... I would listen to him talk about my kids and then I would I would like lose my patience with him like you don't have to be rude to my kids 
Um, and so he doesn't like my kids and apparently that's okay, but I don't like it. You know, I, I think it's, very petty of him to say he does he doesn't like my kids because he he doesn't like me mainly but the problem is he hears my sister and stuff say things about me and then my he doesn't understand that my sister can say things about me versus him so to me I don't care how old he is. He's still a kid to me. So, you know, like, if my sister, my sister's called me a bitch. So then, you know, he turns around and, and thinks, well, my mom called her one, so I can call her one too. Wrong. Because no matter how old he gets, he's still my nephew, which is still younger than me. And I'm like, no, you cannot talk to me that way. So, um, like, I, I find it very disrespectful and I bite my tongue a lot of the time when he's saying stuff about my kids or to my kids because he, he, because he's older, he is bossing them around, but he is mean about it. Not really mean, but like, like he would be like, don't give them cupcakes. They're not allowed to have cupcakes because they didn't blow out their candle or, uh, or, you know, like stuff like really immature still, but like, I don't know. It just, it rubs me the wrong way because it's like he makes it his business about what's going on with my kids. And I don't like that. But my sister is critical of me because, um, she's like, how come your kids need speech therapists and like all these things and you know it's just I don't know it, it's it's something that sometimes I have to ignore otherwise it'll be a big old argument and then sometimes it gets to the point where I can't just bite my tongue and I have to say something and then we argue and whatnot we we have learned that we are, we are not in a position to live together like ever. Um <laughs> uh, and you know the problem is she's still my older sister so she's still and so to her she's probably looking at it like you're my younger sister and I am like you're you have to listen to me kind of a thing and it's my house and blah blah you know like all that and I'm just like no I can't I can't do that I'm my own person I have always been my own person um so when I was younger she is like my second mom because my mom would be out at work or with a boyfriend or whatever she was doing, wherever she was at. So my, my sister took care of me a lot. So, so she's like a second mom to me, but the problem is she's like a second mom. She's not my mom. So, um, I, you know, I, I'm okay to a certain point, but I'm like, you know, you're not my mom, so stop trying to act like it at some point in my life. <laughs> because it never worked for her when I was younger. Not really. I mean, a little bit, but if I wasn't happy with something she was trying to do, I could call my mom and my mom would be like, leave her alone. So, but, you know, unfortunately, my mom's not around anymore, so... There's really not, there's really not a lot I can do about that, but, and I don't know, like, for me, I have an 18 year old, and I have an 18 year old that, you know, he, and, you know, her, her son is also 18 now, they're like, um, like a month and a half apart, my son and, and hers, and, 
problem is, um, my, my son would never call me a bitch. Now, he might say a lot of things, but he would never call me a bitch. And, you know, he has said some mean things, but, I mean, if the roles re were reversed, I do not think that my son would call my sister a bitch. At least not to her face. So, you know, my sister was like telling my nephew, like, I don't, you apologize now. I don't care if you're 18. And she, he's like, she's like, you can't be cussing at, at her like that. And she, and he's like, you were messing with her. This is your fault. And you, you need to expect something instead of, you know, like you, you got to take what you dish. You dished it out. She gave it back to you. Get over it. Like, it's not that big of a deal. It wasn't a big deal until, of course, he called me a bitch. Then it turned into, um, a big deal, but... Because I was only playing and joking with him. I mean, it, it was like to the point where he had to go out into the garage so he didn't say anything further to me. And then his dad had to go downstairs and talk to him downstairs. And, you know, they all think I'm a bitch. It's true. <laughs> but the thing is. I didn't do anything to be, you know, to be called that. So, like I said, his dad didn't even say anything to me. And I'm not going to chase him around an island, you know, all day. So... I wasn't even, I wasn't even trying to mess with him. Um, you know, I was holding my sister back. And then my son ended up, like, covering my shirt in chocolate. Because now he thought it was funny to wipe it all over my shirt. Which, that part made me mad. Especially because that happened after the whole incident with him and so I just like whatever I don't know it, it makes it it makes it really hard to have a relationship with somebody that I mean he doesn't even talk to us like we could come over and He'll pretty much ignore us. And he points out often that he does not respect anything that I say or think or... And I'm like, whatever. So I, I actually tend to not talk to him because he, he doesn't want to talk to me. My husband will try to make conversation with him. I'm like, oh, hey, how's your day going? You know, like, or anything. And he just ignores them. So, he's kind of rude. But, you know, it is what it is. There's not much I can do about it. Not much. But, I mean, I guarantee that if my son cussed at my sister that he would he would be in some trouble by me like I you know you don't talk to adults that way I don't care how old you are and I'm pretty sure my son knows better so and if he doesn't I'll text him and remind him <laughs> no I mean I don't know I don't know how he is these days, but 
you know, he did cuss and stuff like that, but he would never, like, cuss at me. Um, but he would cuss, and then I would be like, watch your mouth, and, you know, like, kind of a thing. And now I let him, you know, I let him cuss if he's talking to me. I don't care, because he's an adult, so... As long as he's not using it at me, the minute he uses it at me, will be a problem. But and you know, honestly, I have a super foul mouth, so I cuss a lot. Uh, my husband doesn't like it because my husband doesn't like to cuss, and so. He always uses fill in words or fill in the blanks. He <laughs> like he, you know, I'll say the blank for him. Um, but I I don't know. I've I've always been that way. So I and, and you know he gets upset, especially when the kids sometimes try to repeat what I say and. And I'm like, nope, you don't repeat that. <laughs> That's a caca word, I'll tell them. And so they, you know, they, they need to learn that there are words that they're not allowed to say. So, um, so, you know, I obviously tell them that. So, it's a work in progress. You know, they're still going to learn what those caca words mean or like, you know, what words they're not allowed to say. For the most part, they're pretty good. My my five year old says, "What the hell?" Because I say that a lot. But um, we're te we're trying to teach him heck instead. <laughs> I'm such a bad influence, but you know, one of us has got to. My husband's a goody two shoes. <laughs> There's a little, you know, a little bit of balance. He's he's the sugar and I'm the spice, I guess. <laughs> uh, so. I have an appointment later on today for, well actually Aiden has it, but I figured I would get in a little bit of recording before then. That way I can, you know, try to edit later and I, you know, I I'm, I'm editing less these days, I think, because the kids have been pretty good if they're home or my husband's been doing a pretty decent job of keeping them preoccupied, but um, he tried to put Aiden in the bathtub and he like absolutely just slipped out. Like he did not want to get in the bathtub. He was so mad. <laughs> And it's crazy to me because he loves baths, so I don't know, I don't know why he didn't want to take one, but he just was like losing his mind, crying. So I'm like, well, I guess you can leave him out here with me. He's just, you know, chilling on the couch, not even, not even really moving, so he's keeping himself you know, pretty preoccupied over there, and so that's why it's good. <laughs> now he's singing you guys a song, apparently. So, I'm, I'm actually liking this pretty good, like, if, if this ruler stays lined up pretty good, then... I think I'll actually like it like because it's like really helping me to keep everything straight and I'm not like freaking out about it but we'll see we will see because you know 
If I take this ruler off and then they don't fit together like this in this gap, in these gaps, I'm gonna be pretty upset. But all right, let's see number four. Still doing number four. I thought it did a decent enough job when I rendered this painting because actually this painting was, it was a, um, it was a color portrait, like a light color, like old, like soft, like water painting colors kind of thing. I decided to change it black and white because um, I thought it would render better. And actually, my oldest brother was actually in this picture, um, sitting in her lap. But I cut him out of it. Sorry, Donnie. <laughs> no, but I, I cut him out of it because um, I just wanted a picture of her. By herself. Um, actually, I would have done a picture of her and my dad together, but I don't have any, so um, my my sister has pictures of my mom with her dad, but I don't have any with my dad. So my dad and I aren't very close anyway, but. Um, but I was hoping that my aunt had some pictures of of from her wedding because I was a baby then and I wanted to see if I could scrounge up more baby pictures of me because I only have like two or three baby pictures of me. Um, my mom was very bad at keeping things. Um, she. When it came to packing stuff up and moving and whatnot, she'd just leave everything behind. Um, or she'd pack up some things and then leave the rest behind kind of a thing. So there were certain things that just never were never a high priority, especially if they were heavy items or I don't know. I don't know what her reasoning was, but a lot of the times, like, I'm like, why didn't, why didn't she just hire somebody to move it for her? <sighs> but, shh. Oh, she does. No. Yes. <laughs> He's so mouthy sometimes. Um, anyway. So, we we lost a lot of stuff and you know what not because she would she would leave stuff behind I don't know why but because it was easier to leave it than to take it for some reason but like I ended up owing a couple of apartment complexes for cleanup fees because she would she would just want us to leave all the stuff in there and I thought that they would just clean it sell sell the stuff that they could out of it and then um, use the money for that oh no they did not they charge me for it. They charge me for cleaning it out. I'm like, really? Could have just got our stuff and freaking sold it. Whoops. What am I doing? <sighs> so I'm like thinking like we, we could have just sold all the stuff at this rate for ourselves and ended up um and ended up, you know, getting a profit from it at least. 
instead of a freaking bill. I think one of them was like eighteen hundred dollars. So my husband finally found a job, but he doesn't start until next month, I think, September, which will be nice, but it'll also suck because he's going to be, he's going to be uh, working 10 hour shifts. Excuse me. And so that means he's not going to be home until late in the evening, which means that he's not going to get to spend much time with the kids. He's going to be gone basically my entire day. But then I can also get back to some semblance of normalcy because it's been a little bit of a treat to have him home. You know, like he's been... He's been so sweet, he's been cooking me breakfast and, and stuff. And so when he goes back to work, then I'm not gonna be spoiled anymore, you guys. <laughs> anyway. Um, I just, I love having him home. You know, like we can watch movies. See, I mean like, don't get me wrong, our marriage isn't perfect, you know, like, he can get on my nerves, I get on his nerves, um, you know, that kind of thing, but, but, we definitely balance each other out, which is nice, very nice all the time that there are there are things you know or whatever but there are things that you know it's like he's like you don't do laundry I do laundry and you don't do this and you don't do that and and I'm like there are plenty of things, you know, like, you, you want to take care of the kids on top of that? Because it's not, it's not always easy. Especially with two of them, you know, like, upset about everything every few minutes. And, and they're bickering and, you know, all that stuff. So, I mean, I don't know. And I do, I do help him do laundry sometimes. I just, I'm not a big fan of folding and putting away. But, so he, he does this thing that gets on my nerves. <laughs> because he, he'll go and he'll collect all the laundry up. And as he's collecting it up, he'll fold it. I'm like, wh why are you folding that? It's dirty. It's not clean. You're going to wash it. So why would you fold it? I'm like, so then when he pulls out the clothes, he does like, a, he does like the opposite. He'll pull out the clothes and wad them up and, and like put them on top of the dryer or something. And I'm like, what the heck? Like you, you took the time to fold these when, when you were gathering them up. But now, you just want to throw them on, you know, in a drawer, or in a pile, or in a laundry basket or something. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's like doing, like, opposite. Like, why would you do that? And, and I don't, I don't understand it. Because for me, I just like throw it in a pile, throw it in the, the wash, let it wash, let it dry, then fold it then put it away and then the other thing he does that get, kind of gets on my nerves with the laundry is 
he'll fold it up and he'll put it together for us. And mind you, my kid, I don't know what it is, he's a fascination with unfolding my clothes. Or, you know, just like, he, he'll like throw my shirt over his face or whatever. And so while my husband is trying to fold up the clothes and put them away, or, okay, fold up the clothes, my son is also trying to unfold them. Um, like for instance, he'll like, he'll be like sitting out here watching TV and trying to fold the clothes. My son will see him and he'll come over and start pulling the clothes away from him. And so then I'm, I, I tell him like, okay, you need to fold them up and then you need to put them away. Like right away. Don't just set them here to look at them or I don't know what he's doing with them. But I'm like, don't just set them here because he's gonna he's gonna want to like destroy them that's what he does and so so then I'll go you know like go put them away so why do I go into my room to go to bed at night and the freaking laundry sitting on the bed you guys the dresser is at the end of my bed there's a dresser for him and there's a dresser on the side of my on my side of the bed like a dresser thing why why on the bed why not in the drawers that are two feet each way well time actually got away from me I guess because um it's a lot later than I thought it was so I'm going to have to be wrapping this up, but I'm going to actually come back after my appoint, after my son's appointment and I'm going to go ahead and finish it because I don't want to take it off until I finished it. And I want to show you guys the results, obviously. So... To finish this, a couple of things happen. While I was gone, doctor called to tell me that my son's genetic testing came in, results came in. So they see that he has a duplication on his fifth chromosome. So they're going to send us to a genetic specialist and also his appointment was for um, to test for autism which they came back with saying that they're going to give him a provisional. Um, diagnosis and that way he can get services for that and such so um, yeah so I, I've got so I got a lot going on for it like for him so, um, and it actually, um, from what I read on the fifth chromosome, abnormalities or duplications, I read that they are known for kids that have low muscle tone which Aiden did have um, the diagnosis for not by a doctor but by a physical therapist um, because he was not crawling and walking and such um, 
at the appropriate times that he that he was supposed to. So, um, it's been really it's been really hard with him because, like, he didn't start. He didn't start walking, or he didn't start crawling until after he was like 15 months, and he didn't start walking until he was almost two. And he definitely has a, a global development delay, so it's been it's been really tough. It's been really difficult trying to figure out all the things he needs and how to help him um, to learn the best way that he can. Um, so we've tried lots of different therapies. So I'm just hoping that we're on the right track now and we can get everything figured out. Um, so the next step is they want his dad and I to take genetic testing to see if either of us has the same the same chromosomal issue so um, we'll have to see how that works um, which is nice because at least we'll know, you know, if it's something I passed along to him or if it's something that he developed on his own or, which in itself, it's a little stressful because, you know, it makes me a little sad to think that he or his father his father or I might have possibly gave him this defect, but, you know, I don't know. So, I mean, I guess, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, as far as I know. So... So, I don't know exactly what it means to... See a geneticist, but we'll certainly get it figured out. Because, you know, I make sure that I get him the best, you know, things that I can. So, make sure he gets all his therapy and. And all of that, even if it is stressful on me having, you know, multiple therapies and such. So, because, you know, for him, it's got to be difficult, too, because, you know, we don't always understand everything he's saying and doing. And I know that if I am trying to explain something and somebody doesn't understand, I get pretty frustrated. So, I can only imagine... You know, for him, it's the same. But my my oldest, though, he took a genetics test through Twenty Three and Me with him and his dad, and I didn't. I don't know if they do chromosomal testing through that. I don't think they do, but. I'm not sure, but it seems really complicated, and I don't know if it is really or not, but she kind of explained things to me, and I'm just thinking, good lord, this seems really complicated, like really, like, complex stuff going on here. So, in 
And then the other thing is they, so they diagnosed him with um, probable, so they're not even 100% sure uh, for the autism because they're only able to do it through telehealth, which is like basically nothing. Um, you know, because you can only get them to do so many things and observe so many different things while you're on the video. And, you know, luckily I, I have a tripod and stuff and I can move the tripod around, move the camera around, set and stuff like that, but it makes it really hard to... Diagnose, I feel like, over the camera, over a camera, and over a phone, and so I don't know. I don't really know, but it's kind of nice to know that it's not just. My, my imagination too because you know my sister says he learns just fine and then um, you know making me feel like it's just me that's not not working on it right or not teaching him properly or you know like so it's kind of nice to know that there is a possibility that it's something more than just what I'm doing because it, it's, it, you know, like it stresses me out to feel like I'm, um, not doing a good job with him. But, you know, with my sister, he really responds to her in a different way than he responds to me. Or even his therapist that would come in. So... I don't know. He responds to her, like, absolutely 110% different. He will do everything she says, copy everything she does, etc. When it comes to me, I try to get him to do something. He'll just like throw a tantrum or he'll tell me no or he doesn't want to do that or, you know, like whatever the case is. And it gets kind of frustrating to... To have him not want to, to interact or play or do anything that you're asking of him. And, you know, I don't ask him to do anything that he's not capable of doing. But, in a sense, it's almost like he just doesn't want to try either. For me. Whereas... He wants to do that for my sister. Let's see. Um, oh, what happened to O? Happened to Oh, three, four. Oh, there's so. Lower these. 
So, my husband is trying to keep my kids occupied this time. I don't know how well it's going, but it sounds a bit not well. But, I just want to at least get this section right here finished so that I can take this off to see how it looks. Um, okay, so I'm almost, I'm almost done with it, with the section, so let's see. Number seven. Any sevens? No, I don't see that. I'm talking about sixes. No sixes. I don't see any sixes either. Um, eights. Do I see any eights? I see one eight. Yeah, I see some eights. Okay, so eights. So weird how many colors this is. It's like, it's even more weird because it's supposed to be like black and white, but this is like a dark green, <laughs> like a olive, dark olive green. But when you like put it on the canvas, it kind of looks like a dark gray. So it, it to me, it's wild how a color actually turns colors like differently when they're blended together with other colors that's one thing that surprises me about these kinds of things because once you put all the colors together you cannot tell that it's not black and white because like, it uses color for highlights so like, I think there's lilac in here, too. Like a lilac color. So. son play with the phone and two phones and they're like high pitch squealing at each other because <laughs> they're too close to each other so because they're sitting in the same room so the phone's feedback is going into one into the other and into the other so it's like a, a sound wave Oh boy. I like this paper or this plastic. This I got from Joann's in the roll. And I really like it. Like, I've been, uh, it's like thicker than some of the plastics that come on the diamond paintings. Some of the diamond paintings, like the, the me and Mayan one, the ocean wave that like, has like really like flimsy paper, like thin. Cause I ended up adding some clear packing tape on it because I was thinking about reusing it for other paintings because I like I like the clear plastic I don't know why other people don't like it but 
For me, I like a clear plastic. I like to see what I'm working on. So for me, it's not like overwhelming to look. Like some people get really overwhelmed by looking at how much they're having to do for one picture. For me, I don't, that doesn't bother me. I actually rather look at the full thing so I can kind of get an idea of how it's turning out. So I switched my, as, as I get opaque paintings, I actually don't usually switch until I'm ready to, to complete the canvas. So then I will swap out the opaque for clear. So, which do you guys like? What, what what is your favorite, opaque or clear? Or do you use an alternative like parchment paper? I think it's parchment paper. Because I think wax paper is bad. Like never use wax paper. Yes, I don't imagine getting wax on this is a, a very good idea. Sounds like something that would take away the the stickiness. So, um, I haven't used parchment paper. This the parchment paper I feel like is between clear and between clear and opaque because you can kind of see through it a little bit to see what your painting looks like but like I said I like I'm gonna stick with this stuff I like it a lot it's very durable and I reuse it with no problems And I would have a lot more of it if my husband didn't dump milk in my box. <laughs> you know, because I, I was telling you guys about that in another video. Where he dumped, he dumped a, my son's cup of milk into my tub. Which really irked me. So when I'm done with filling in all of this, I'm just going to pull this off on camera to kind of get an idea of how it works. And then we're going to see the results. And honestly, it's kind of a pain in the butt to put on because you've got to kind of get it in like a perfect angle but you know to be honest with you i don't even know if it's really at a perfect angle the way it is even now but you know i think as long as as long as they make it on there you know that's i think that's what counts like as long as they're not way off i think that's just you know what really matters And I just, I really wanted to use that on this, on this canvas because, uh, this uh, ruler on this canvas because 
you know, I've been dreading working on it because of the, the drill quality um, and um, like just the quality in general for this thing hasn't really worked out, obviously, since I had the issue with the rivers and I had to remove all of the adhesive and then um, I think that the drills are different sizes. Um, so... And you know if they're not if they're not perfectly placed then I don't know how well it will push through. Okay, so I'm not sure what happened there. For some reason it kicked me out. My maybe my memory is full. I don't really know. Um but I'm going to try to finish this up. Um, gosh, what was I talking about? I don't even know what I was talking about, what was caught on camera and what was lost there because apparently it stopped recording for a little bit of time so I'm not sure what it what exactly it dropped off on but so I was um I was saying that I do remember a part of it. I, I was saying that I um, finished my 60 by 40 yesterday and well technically today, earlier today. So I was able to at least get that done and uh, my husband wants me to start on a new a new painting of Penelope and that'll be my next project off camera and that it's actually um, I'm gonna actually use my Tinkerbell canvas that I um, have as an extra thing I'm gonna use that and I'm going to make my own grid and I'm going to, I got all of the colors that I required. So I'm going to go ahead and create this picture instead of purchasing it. Cause I mean, I already have all the colors and stuff. So there really is no point. <laughs> I have extras of like, I have a lot of extras of 5200 and a lot of extras of 50, 3865, so because of how many little small 25 by, or 20 by 25s I've done, so, so there's that. Alright, let's see. I think I have like three more colors left to do. What is with P? I think I missed P only four. turns on I just love that snapping sound <laughs> like when it pops into place 
And a lot of people find it therapeutic when it happens. get kind of disappointed when I don't hear it snap because <laughs> I feel like it leaves me wondering if it actually is in all the way if it's in properly it's turned perfectly etc I don't know when it stopped recording again I don't know why I'm having so many issues. I think maybe my phone memory might be full. But I'm not sure. It's only letting me record for five minute increments. I don't know why though. The weird sounds ever like hypnotize you or put you to sleep or something like sometimes weird sounds will make, make me start falling asleep or like hypnotizing into sleeping like a hypnotic falling asleep state I guess like my husband when I'm on the phone with him and he's getting in the shopping cart how when he's out, out shopping and stuff, like uh, the sound it makes, like makes me start to fall asleep. And I'm, I don't know why. Um, but like my son is in the room playing with my phone and my husband's phone, my old phone, and he's video calling back and forth to both to his phone to my husband's phone they're in the same room so it's giving like that feedback sound but that even that feedback sound is like triggering a like tired response in me it's like making me like want to close my eyes and take a little nap and i'm like what the heck how can a noise make me want to take a nap i don't understand that but it happens. I'm a, I'm a light sleeper. The only thing I can have on for noise is a fan. That's the only noise I can handle while I am. I can't handle dead silence while I go to sleep. I feel like my brain will never shut up. <laughs> it like just keeps talking, and you know, it, and then I hear every creak of the house, and I'm up. Like, are the kids awake? What was that? Did someone break in? Is it a ghost? What is that? <laughs> you know, like kind of a thing. Oops. That's not right. Okay. Alright. So I have a, a missed number eight. Alright, that's okay. I'll go back. Why not? So... So it's just weird. And then, and then I look and I think I put it down straight and then I look and it's like all cockeyed. <laughs> what the heck? It's all crooked. So. I'm almost done. Almost done. Only got like five more to do, I think. And then it'll be a moment of truth. Does this thing work? <laughs>
I do not. <laughs> this is why I'm looking at it up close, you guys, because my eyes will be deceiving me. All right, so now I'm gonna take my rolling pin and I'm gonna just make sure that it is all pushed in. Just make sure because when I lift this up, I want it to all stay. All right, so I feel like I did good. My poor paper's gonna be all designed out now. Alright. So I think I figured out what is happening. My son is actually calling me and it's cutting me out. Alright. Moment of truth, guys. So, I obviously missed some of the recording of being finished, but so I think the idea is. You want to remove this gently because you don't want, you don't want it to pull the diamonds away. So like this one needs to be pushed in, it looks like. So I'm just pushing the ruler away and I'm just making sure that I push them all down when I'm moving the ruler away to make sure that they're all sticking in. Like I'm just making sure that I push them through together as I'm pulling it away. I hope you guys can see that. Just pushing it in. So far I haven't lost any diamonds so good so far on that front especially since I've pushed them through like pushing them down and through and you just want to kind of keep pushing them through until you can remove them all nice I'm gonna continue to try to um, work with this ruler and see what what happens I think I have until like the 24th to decide whether I'm gonna keep it or not whether I like it or not so I will keep you guys updated I'll come back in a couple days I'll, I'll work on this instead of the ocean wave um, on camera so until then...